friends, welcome to Foods and Flavors. This is Shilpi. Today I'll be making namak pare. It's a very famous savory snack in North India. This is my mom's recipe and it's her family's favorite. So let's start. Here is the ingredient list. You can also find it in the description of this video. To make this namak para, I'll take one cup of all-purpose flour. To this, I'll add one fourth teaspoon of salt. 2 tablespoons of oil. Mix the oil and the flour together. All the oil should be evenly mixed in the flour. It might take a couple of minutes. To check if the flour is ready or not, hold some flour in your hand. If it holds like this, it means we are ready to add some water. Now I'll take one fourth cup of water and I sprinkle little water at a time and make a dough. We need hard but smooth dough. To bind everything together, I'll put one spoon of water. You may have to use little more or less water. It depends on your floor, type of floor you are using. But at the end, your dough should be hard but smooth. Keep kneading dough for some time. It might take a couple of minutes till it becomes smooth. As you can see, this dough is smooth but hard. Now I'll grab this dough and keep it aside and let it rest for 15 minutes. It's almost 15 minutes. Let's take out the dough. I'll take some oil in my hand and rub it on the dough and knead it once again. Now I'll take the small portion of the dough and I'll roll it and make it like a chapati. Press it from the side and try making the round shape. When you do it this way, it's easy to roll the dough. Now I'll roll the dough and make a chapati shape. I forgot to tell one thing here. Keep rest of the dough which you're not using covered in the wrap. Otherwise it will dry and it will be tough to roll. As you can see, I have rolled it like a thin chapati. Let me transfer it on the chopping board. Now I'll cut it in thin stripes. Now I'll cut it diagonally to give it diamond shape. As you can see, they are nice diamond shape. Now these pieces are ready, we'll deep fry them. Oil is hot at medium heat. To check it, I'll put one piece. It should almost come immediately up. It means the oil is done. Now we'll put the makparas in the oil. We turn them over and reduce the heat to medium low. We cook them at medium low heat for a couple of minutes till they become slightly brown in color. We had put this namak para on medium heat so that they can puff and by reducing the heat to medium low we will make them cook from inside and then we will increase the heat so that they will become crunchy and get nice color. As you can see, they have become little brown in color, light brown in color. I'll change the heat to little more than medium heat to give them some color. It's been a couple of minutes. Now they are turning golden brown. It's time to take them out. Don't overcook them, otherwise they'll burn and they'll not taste good. To spice up these namak para, we'll make a masala for it. I'll take some salt, amchur powder, chili powder, Mix everything well. 
and sprinkle the masala on namak para. You can sprinkle more or less according to your taste. Namak paras are ready. Once these namak para cool down, you can store them in an airtight container for almost a month. Enjoy them with hot tea and coffee. For more recipes, visit my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time.